Anyhow, so we are, we, we finished the harvest. We do most of our stuff from Rogue Valley, Southern Oregon. We are going to get some stuff from Walla Walla and Walla Walla Valley on the Oregon side, as well as Red Mountain in Washington. So typically what we do is we always have is processed our fruit down where the fruit is grown. So we'll do, um, we'll do trade slave labor or I'll have someone do it. We'll bring in, the, bring in the grapes. When I determine it, we will crush and ferment and then we press off. And once it's pressed off, then we'll either put it to tank up here or to barrels and I'll age, uh, blend in bottle up here and bend. <laughs> I also do uh, bag wine. So I do these for customers, glass pours, um, so this is a typical uh, five liter bag. It's equivalent to six and a half bottles, much better for the environment, and it's a closed system. So I'll fill this up, open the valve, bleed off any air so there's no air in here at all. And these lovely boxes are made by the Opportunity Foundation <clears throat> in Redmond. So I designed these to fit a bladder in here. then actually kind of works out pretty well. The little bit of aeration in the closed system helps open it up. <coughs> so today we're going to give you a little demonstration of how our small operation works. We kind of have to move stuff around here, but we're going to do a small bottling, show you how I uh, hand bottle, hand cork, hand wax top, hand stamp, and then hand label. So we'll show you how we do it at the smallest winery in the world. Take these barrels here and I can rack off five barrels. I use about 25% new French oak. So I'll have new French oak, year old, two year, totally neutral that I've been using that just don't leak. I don't have a tank here, but typically we'll rack off about 250 gallons, five barrels in a tank, and then we hook it up here. So for the process, I've got my last keg of my topping wine, which happens to be 2008 Fort Miller Vineyard Merlot, which is delicious. We just we're doing some quality control on that. And incidentally, Fort Miller um, Vineyard is owned by um, David Beach's grandparents down in the Talent Jacksonville area, who owns Back Porch Coffee, which I get my coffee every day, very delicious. This is my little desktop filler, which is really kind of a neat little unit. It's got hooked up to a nitrogen that sparges the, the individual bottles, and then it's a volume, volumetric filler. It fills up to a regular height. So everything's on, so once it comes up and hits the sensors, the light will come on. Sometimes they don't always want to work, but it's pretty, pretty high tech for what it is. Take a cork, 100% natural cork. <clears throat> goes down. This is my floor corker, a hand corker, which I've had for years since my home white making, home white making days. Uh, so come over here and take a look at this. So this first little bit crushes this, this crushes the, uh, squishes the cork down to nothing. And the second thing, the lever pushes this in, and this little nut determines how deeply it goes in. I have a bottle of wine. So what I do is I keep them a little bit lower. This one a little farther than I like. So then it comes over here. I take my trusty spoon and my, this is my Presto deep fryer that I got at Bymart here in Oregon. So I make my, my burnt orange, which is a combination of yellow and red, because the minimum order for a custom orange is 450 pounds, and I don't use that much. So then I quite simply <clears throat> stir this up and make sure this is where I want it, not too hot, not too cold. Basically just gets a sloppy drip all over. I just let that set up for a little bit. Then, depending on if it's my volcano brand, it gets a volcano stamp. Or if it's my Ben blends, they get the Ben seal. These are both made by my friend Steve Douglas, Douglas Fine Jewelry down on Minnesota. Great guy, great craftsman. But this is how we do it. Just set that down in there. It's kind of an inexact science. And then you have a volcano. There you have it. That's the whole process of how we bottle here at Volcano Vineyards in Bend, Oregon, the world's smallest winery. We're in Bend, Oregon at the Century Center, Volcano Vineyards, Volcano Wine Company. Uh, that's the old Brightwood Mill on the west side, uh, right off 14th, where actually Century starts right there. And we're in the courtyard, so...